It's time again to do a little bit of math. Let's talk about uh, the mitotic index. The mitotic index are the number of cells in a tissue which undergo mitosis, which divide, divided by the total number of cells. Essentially, the mitotic index is a, a value, or you can compare it to a percentage of cells in a tissue that divide. Um, why is this uh, important? Uh, I give you two possible explanations and you tell me which one's the correct one. Uh, explanation number one is the IB invented the mitotic index so that you have a little bit more to study and there are more exam questions this way. Or the second possibility, of course, would be that doctors use the mitotic index to determine whether a tissue undergo or is a tumor, it forms tumors. Um, because in a tumor, many cells divide. So which one of these two would be the correct one? Well, uh, over here, um, we have uh, not uh, an animal tissue, but a plant tissue. In this case, uh, these are the roots um, of an onion. And you see different uh, nuclei over here, different cells. So that over here, this one over here is a cell. And there's a nucleus. And uh, you see many dividing cells. This one over here is in prophase. This one is in prophase, prophase, a lot of prophase cells here. This one is in telophase. See the new cell plate being formed here? So that's uh, the telof telophase. Um, this one over here, that is anaphase. Here you also have uh, um, something between telo and anaphase. I would say probably telophase. Um, anything else is again prophase over here. You get the idea, I hope. Uh, I don't see any, I don't see any metaphase. I don't see any metaphase cells over here. This one could be also um, a late telophase one. You still see some chromosomes in here. So this could be telophase. In any case, what you can do is, is you can um, count uh, the total number of cells. I don't know, I think you counted 76 cells or so. Um, and uh, you also count the number of cells that undergo this one is all prophase, yeah, that undergo cell division. Um, so, and then you have uh, a value. So you had to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cells. So the mitotic index is uh, nine cells divided by, I don't know, how many do you count? 76, you do the math. And that's basically the mitotic index. It's called MI. The mit you know? And if the ratio is, uh, if there are many cells that um, undergo mitosis, then this, in an animal tissue, then this can be a sign that there, you have a tumor. But in plant roots, uh, like for example, like this one, it's not uncommon to have a large number of dividing cells because a rapidly uh, growing part of the plant. And that's already it. Okay, uh, so the larger the mitotic index, the faster the tissue is growing because there are many dividing cells. And this, the mitotic index must of course be a value which is less than one. So do not divide 76 by nine because then you have a, a value which is larger um, than one. So you have to divide the number of cells that undergo mitosis, which is of course less than the total number of cells divided by the total number. Okay, so that's that's it, and I recommend if you have a slide, a permanent slide, in, in your in school lab uh, with onion roots, um, onion roots, and you're gonna see that. And then I would, uh, I think that's nice. That's a nice uh, practical. You count a few hundred cells, you count them in rows, and uh, you basically tell your partner um, interface, 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 anaphase, interface, inter and so on, telophase, and uh, then you can uh, determine. Uh, um, how many cells are in uh, currently uh, dividing and not only that if you have uh, many cells for example like over here which are in prophase then this indicates that prophase is uh, quite long and you have of course many f cells over here in interphase and interphase is the longest um, fa uh, phase in the life cycle of a cell it's so not part of cell division, but it's in the whole life cycle interface is quite long. That's why you see many cells which are in interface. So this way you can um, also determine the relative length of the individual phases um, uh, during the cell cycle. So that was, that's it.